Alright, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Sarah Mallon, and I am here to show you a color combination lock. Now, I don't have it set up for the test phase right now, but the point is, is that it only works if it is set up in the uh, current, the, the colors that are supposed to be there. So, in this case, red and orange. Um, this is almost tileable. This space here um, ha there has to be a space between them, but it's it's pretty good in my opinion. I made this up on the spot. It was based off of an idea from uh, Mumbo Jumbo, who is a great uh, uh, Redstone YouTuber. He's shown me a lot of stuff, and I've I found it quite interesting. This is one of his um, was one of his designs, but his was completely tileable, so there was no here. Of course, I will leave a link in description. And without boring you too much, I'm going to move on with the tutorial. Alright, so you want to start things with an area that looks something like this, with, this is like your viewing port you've got here, you, we'll, we'll make it look better um, later. Now I do apologize, I have no sound, so uh, you can hear me, but you can't hear me placing blocks. Plus, I'm not exactly sure the, exa the design, so I may be checking periodically, so this may be a little slow, but you want to start with two redstone repeaters and a few blocks. A block of your choice doesn't have to be sandstone, but that's what's available for me, anyway. Um, there, has, there doesn't have to be a delay. Then you build block up like this, here, 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 here. Um, you can take out that block, it really doesn't matter. Um, if I remember correctly, that goes there, like that. And then put a redstone repeater there, no delay, it's fine like that. And run your uh, redstone like this. Put a redstone dust here, uh, redstone dust up here, and here with a redstone repeater there. Now, for your pistons, you want to place one here and one there. This is where your color tape is going to go. I call it tape, but it's just a circle of blocks. Um, here, I believe you have this. And here is also where one of the other pistons is going to go there. Um, and what this does here is it powers this, which actually powers the piston itself, and also moves on to the next bit of uh, redstone. So then I leave a space there. It just, I don't know, it looks cooler or something. Um, now, this is where it gets a little interesting. You need to set two repeaters here to full delay, then a redstone dust here, with um, that set to one tick, or two ticks actually, I don't know, I'm not very good at telling you what ticks there are, then a block here with redstone, and this is where your last, yeah, last piston is going to sit, if I can get this to work correctly, like that. And that is the pistons done on your uh, design. So if you press the button here, you should see that all of them fire, and this one fires late so that it actually pushes something. Um, now we'll move on to the tape and the signal off thing. Now, all you will need is all the colors, because all the colors fit in this, or if you don't want to use all colors, you can change it up if you want. But you need to put uh, Redstone power block with a redstone dust on top, right there. See the the space there that I have. It it kind of sits in the middle of the tape, and I'll explain later. Now, um, doesn't matter which order you put this in, but I prefer to put it in um, such. The order you need is um, a space here, a space here, and a space here. I don't know why, but that's how it works. Red, orange, yellow green, blue, uh, magenta, and violet, even though it's indigo. Um, and that is your color tape done. And if we come down here, we should see that it circles through the various um, colors. Now, if you could hear, you could hear that this one retracts differently than everything else, but it doesn't matter as long as you don't spam the button. Like, as long as it pops up and you see that one go down, then you should be fine. I haven't had problems with it yet, but I don't know, maybe you do something wrong with it and it, like, dies. Then you basically just have to replace the tape. Yeah, so now, 
what you need to do to get the output is you put those like this and then the redstone uh, repeater there so that the redstone transfers through the block um, and then as continuing with everything else we have here we run a line of blocks and this is your decoder it, it works very simply it just makes uh, makes it runs on an inversion so at the very end there's going to be an inverter and I can show you that later but for now that's all you need to know now um, so say you want the first color see I've got orange and red here let's make this one blue we want um, blue to be the color that is decoded so that we want that there whatever is here we want to change to glass so that the signal does not go through because signal does not transfer through transparent blocks and glass is a transparent block you could make that glowstone if you really wanted to um, I believe that would work but and that is your system working so if we turn this on and just move it you'll see that this turns on as well and you can add as many of these as you want as long as you have the materials for it and you don't have to use the colors I've got you could use different colors um, yeah so as you can see it is the most difficult thing to cover up you just need like I don't know four blocks up here to cover that and some blocks down here and in there and you're done so if you didn't catch that I was being sarcastic sorry you need a redstone torch for the decoder part and I'm just gonna use a redstone lamp uh, for the purposes of this um, so I th I believe yeah because based on how much this is let's just put a repeater here to make sure the signal doesn't die um, no the whole point is that you don't need a, a signal sorry that took me a moment um, so let's say we want our signal to come out here and tell us that it's on we just bring this all out here oh yeah we do need the signal anyway um, we just bring this out here you bring your redstone power line that you've got going is this or whatever I'll just bring it up like this um, and you yeah, put the redstone repeater here just to make sure that the power continues bring it out here and then put a redstone torch here so that when placed this when this is all powered it doesn't turn on because we remember we want the glass the glass that's there means it's not powered um, which effectively inverts everything so when the glass is in position everything will turn off for example um, see uh, let's just change that and this by one so the combination is red orange blue and that should turn on so we go cycle through this this is gonna take a moment sorry you see the glass and red then you cycle through this I broke it no okay apparently it doesn't break it just glitches when that happens so there we go it's a good thing about this red orange it is orange isn't it if I turn okay good red orange yellow green blue ta-da and that is your working uh, color color system now even if you wanted to you could have a, a the glass piece be one of them and then you could have two glass pieces circling through I don't know why you'd want to because that's also really confusing but there you go uh, that is your redstone circuitry complete and you can hook that up to a door or whatever you'd like to have it hooked up to thank you my name is Sarah Mallon thank you for watching this video and